This is actually going to be the second segment of many to come on how you can build a com computer desk for your home. I just wanted to let you know that and if you didn't see my introduction which is segment one please view that because I'm going to try to show you step by step how I'm putting this together and I want to thank you for watching my videos okay I got my top ready to be glued it's all edged but I'm gonna hold that until last for the simple reason I don't have room to store a 7 foot by 24 inch wide panel down here I'd be tripping over it plus I don't want it to cup up on me so I'm gonna build my legs make my stretcher for my top then I'll do the top last I'll show you a little bit about how to make some table legs mine are just gonna be simple square legs I had thought about turning them on my lathe but I scratched that idea I'm just going to keep them square. I have some of my material for my legs laying here on my table saw. And I want my blocks three by three when they're finished. So I've ripped each piece at three and a quarter because you're going to want room to mill that down. It takes four pieces at three quarters of an inch to make one block three by three. These are presently thicker than what I want so I'm gonna mill these down to 25 30 seconds. That's gonna leave me about 30 thousandths extra on each piece which once they're all glued together is gonna give me an extra eighth of an inch this way to mill out any clamp marks that may occur on this surface during the gluing process. You know, I ripped them at three and a quarter this way for the simple reason when you glue it you're going to get steps in your blocks. Now I'm over exaggerating but it's going to be something like that and you're going to want room to mill that down. So you want to leave it wider. I'm going to show you a little bit on how to save some lumber when you're building a block. I had this board here and I ripped my three and a quarter off of it and I had this piece left. This had that big knot in it. I could have easily cut around the knot but I left it in there. That knot don't bother me a bit for the simple reason when I make my block I'll just bury it on the inside of it. You would never know it's in there. Nobody would know it's in there unless you tell them. And you're not going to mill into it when you mill your edge down because it's far enough away. It's the same with this piece here. I could easily cut a piece out on this side, but it would be close to the knot. And then I would probably mill into it on my other piece. So I'm going to rip this piece off, rip the three, out of the three and a quarter out of the middle of it, and I'll have the other piece then. Now I've got all these pieces left. I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to make a panel out of them. Like this. The panel needs to be 14 inches wide. Then I can rip four pieces at three and a quarter out of it. You technically only need 13 inches, but you have to add for your blade width because each cut's going to take away a little bit of wood. So I had to add an extra eighth of an inch for every piece that I'm going to cut out of it. I've used all my material up that way. I have no waste. Well, my panel's dry. I'll soon be able to bust that out of the clamps. As you can see, I had some knots to deal with. So what I did was I laid this panel up so the knots would end up in the center of the stave when I rip it out of there. I won't be running into them and they won't end up on the edge of my block if I was to rip it right here and then it'll protrude through making it look like crap. So I'll show you what I was doing while that was drying. I took three pieces of that scrap there somebody gave me and uh, Brad nailed them together ran some brads down through it to hold them together on the edge threw it up on my table saw ran it through at 45 degrees 
and made this little jig. Then I just screwed them to the bottom and of course I broke my bit off on the process. Obviously I hit one of those brads. Then I took another one, glued that up at 90 degrees and laid it inside of it. Now the reason I made that jig is because this table that I'm making or desk is going to be so big it's going to have to have removable legs on it so that you can get it in and out of the house. Now just take my jig, throw it on my drill press, clamp it down. Now I have another block here from a previous project. Lay that in there like that and it'll set in that 45 degree angle. Then I can drill my hole in the edge so that I can put my piece in to hold the leg fast to the stretcher. And there you go. Simple way to make a jig. Okay, there's my 16 pieces that I need to make my four blocks with. Had I had some five or six quarter that I could have used, I could have made them in three pieces instead of four. But unfortunately, the little bit I have, I didn't want to make blocks out of. I'm going to start milling them down to 25, 30 seconds, which is 781 thousandths of an inch, and start making blocks. I'm not going to film that part of it because this planer is extremely loud and it's going to be a little bit time consuming to do it. Okay, as you can see, I ended up with about 3 and 5 30 seconds on my block after I plane my wood. I did get it a little thicker than 25 30 seconds, therefore, it made it a little bit wider. That's alright, we'll be able to mill that out. Now we're ready to make blocks.